Hi submarine friends, let's talk about the budget. So I started building this submarine last summer or this past summer and I haven't really been keeping track of every penny I'm spending but I have a pretty good idea. So my goal was to build this submarine mostly with parts and pieces that I have left over from other submarine builds. So I'm hoping to build the whole thing for about $10,000. Um, I think I'm pretty pretty much on track. So here's a breakdown of what I've spent so far. So I bought this tank in Lethbridge and I think I paid $1,500 for it and then I had to haul it home. So I'm counting that as about two grand with gas and everything else. Uh, it was like a 10 hour trip. So uh, it was kind of a big pain in the butt. But anyways, uh, so it was, I'm calling it two grand for the tank. And then I bought a, um, a high pressure compressor, which I'm actually not using in the submarine now, but I'm still using the compressor for uh, charging the emergency tanks because they, they're 3000 PSI. Plus I need it for my deep worker submarine. So I'm still going to include it in the cost because I normally I wouldn't have bought it because the deep worker, I just use the fire hall air. Um, but because I have it, I'm going to build my own portable compressor with it instead of using it in the submarine. Um, one of the expenses that was bigger than I expected was the oxygen, acetylene and MIG wire and associated pieces like tips and stuff for the welder. That was 1200 bucks. I was kind of surprised about that cost, but there was a lot of cutting in this. Now, one thing that's really nice about this tank is it was much bigger than what I needed. So the excess steel is what I used to make the conning tower and the nozzle for the conning tower. I just cut two big strips of steel out of the hull and then I bent it in my 50 ton press to make the, the, um, the conning tower and, and the nozzle. So that, that ended up being just a bit of time to do that. And of course some oxygen and acetylene. Or actually I use propane, not acetylene. Uh, so then there's um, hydraulic pieces. So like all the fittings, for the hydraulics and some, and at, at the same time, I, I buy my uh, weld-in fittings from them, not just hydraulic fittings. So the, the pieces that I weld into the hull so I can thread to it, I, I get those from the hydraulic place too. So that's included in this. So that cost me 177 bucks. And then there's miscellaneous stuff. So, you know, like uh, the paint at the inside of the hull, um, you know, things like uh, the electric actuator for my elevator seat, you know, just all kinds of little bits and bobs. I bought four valves to shut off the hydraulic supply to the outside of the submarine. So that was about 900 bucks. So, so far I have spent $5,277 roughly. So, uh, building this for $10,000, I'm pretty much on track. Batteries, I'm going to start with um, just using batteries out of my crane truck because it has four of these great big huge batteries in it. So I'm just going to use those to get going on the project once I start using the sub. And then I can decide uh, what kind of batteries I should use and <clears throat> I'll get a feel for the range I want and how they perform and all that kind of stuff. So there's no point in you know, spending 2000 bucks on batteries or whatever, uh, when I have batteries here that I can get the project rolling. So I think I'm pretty much on track. I'm pretty happy with the cost so far. Um, yeah, it's always nice when that happens. I mean, it could change, but yeah, that's pretty good. So the hatch for the submarine, I already had the window frames for the windows in the conning tower. I already had, uh, hydraulic parts I already have. So 90% of the stuff I have. So that's, that's why I can build this thing for 10,000 bucks. At least I think I can. Anyways, that's the progress report on finances. Ciao.